Hi there. Today we're going to make soap balls, which is a great way of getting your natural herbs and all their goodness into plain soap and doing it all yourself. Now you want to start by getting as natural a soap as possible and soap that hasn't got any fragrance at all. So have a good look around the supermarket to get that type of thing. And you can go for any colour of soap at all. If In fact, if you go for pinks and blues and greens and things, and white too, then you can actually get some really nice effects if you mix them together in a jar. But here we're going to use white soap, really nice and simple. Now just use the coarse side of your grater and grate your soap. It can take a while, but just carry on until you get a nice big pile of soap. And what you want is about two cups of soap to make uh, are about five or six balls. So once you've got your soap ready, you then want to get your herbs ready. Now I'm using chamomile and lavender today. Chamomile is lovely and softening for the skin. It's very gentle and it's for delicate skins. And I'm using lavender because lavender is cleansing and it's um, antibacterial. It's an antiseptic and it has such a lovely smell. So all together I'll have about a tablespoon of the herbs. Now put them into a bowl and I'm going to add about a quarter of a cup of boiling water. Now normally I would leave these to infuse for 15 minutes to really get all the scents and aromas and the essential oils released. And then what you're going to do is you're going to add in your soap and then you just got to tip this into your, your mix like so. You're actually better using the bigger bowl for this so you've got a bit more room to work with. And then add in some essential oil. Uh, one of the oils, one of the herbs that you're using, just adds a few more drops of that oil just to give an extra special oomph to it. And then you're going to get your hands in and start mixing. You can start with a wooden spoon if you like, but sometimes it's just as easy. Just get your hands in there. Now I've cheated a bit. I've already got some just that little bit further on because it does take a wee while to do this. And what I've done is I've just kept mixing and mixing and mixing until I got it to this doughy consistency. It's quite, quite chunky now. And I'm going to make it into golf ball sized pieces like this. And just roll them on your hands. It's very, very easy to do. Take a bit off, get your size right. It doesn't have to be perfect, you know. And put them on your tray. And I can tell you what you could, other things you could put in them here as well. You could add in honey which is really healing and is wonderful for uh, cuts and grazes and things. You can add in oatmeal, which is very softening. And you can also add in vitamin E. If you buy those little capsules you buy in the chemist, you can prick the capsule and just put the vitamin E oil into the, the soap mix that you're using. Now, the soaps themselves, um, you can add in lavender, as I said, because it's uh, antiseptic. Uh, if you want an, an antiseptic that's not got the flowery smell, you can go for thyme. That's quite good if you're going to be, if it's going to be a man that's using it. Um, rosemary is um, a healing herb as well. That's really nice. And sage is a good antiseptic. Peppermint, really, really refreshing. Real zing in the morning if you have that one in the shower. You can also mix your blends. You know, try different, uh, different ideas. Now, once you've got the balls together like this, and they're about roughly the same size, you can then take some of your essential oil just on the palm of your hand, just a few drops, and roll the ball in the essential oil. This polishes it off, just gives it a nice shine. And then leave them on a tray on greaseproof paper. And I like to put the tray just above the fridge because you get heat from the top of the fridge and this helps to dry them out and you want to turn them over each day leave them there for about four days turn them each day so that they don't get flat on one side and when they're completely dry they're like this and they're totally rock solid they're like little rocks in fact and then that's it you can pop those into a jar in fact if you make a batch of different different types you can put them in a jar and put label on them saying you know what each one does and it makes a really super present for someone so there you have it soap bowls herbal soap bowls so easy <laughs>